Drexel University is on lockdown. The school's president says it's in response to the pro-Palestinian protest encampment that has been set up on campus. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ray Strickland is live at Drexel with the latest. Ray. And Aziza, within the past couple of hours, Drexel University President John Fry announced that classes will be virtual here tomorrow. The president is also now calling for the immediate end to this encampment that you see right now for also these protesters to leave the university's campus. Fry claiming the protest, which he says was initially peaceful, has now become a safety and security concern for students and staff. As you said, buildings around campus are still on lockdown after about 70 pro Palestinian protesters. Set up the encampment here on the university's Corman Quad. Protesters are here calling for an immediate ceasefire, and among their many demands, they're asking for the university to divest from companies with ties to Israel. Now, we spoke to two students about the encampment, including one who was trying to get into a university building but couldn't because of it being on lockdown. Just a center, which is where, a center where companies that are run by students could they could have a space there. I have one there. And I wasn't allowed to go there this morning because they're locked. I have stuff that I need to do and get from there. I can't because of this. I don't understand why. It's very annoying, very inconvenient. It feels dangerous sometimes, and I've seen it can get out of hand. I was seeing the stuff at Penn, and they were saying some pretty, pretty crazy stuff. So it's just a little bit concerning. And so far, there have not been any arrests here. Now, Drexel's president also says the university has opened a line of communication with the protesters, hoping to convince them to leave. They're also warning students involved in the protests here that they could face disciplinary action for being here. Also warning non-students that they are unlawfully trespassing. Right now, the encampment and the protests here has been relatively quiet and peaceful. But, of course, we will continue to be here to monitor the, the situation if anything changes. Reporting in University City, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Philadelphia.